Oh, you must be Michael. It's a pleasure. Thanks for agreeing to meet. Yeah, pleasure's mine. Hey, 20 minutes later on the first date. Good start. <sighs> I'm really sorry. Let me make it up to you. Oh, well, listen, we covered the bases on the phone. I think you got the gist of what's going on here, but, uh... I'm looking for new stories, and they got to be the real deal, right? We're looking for based on true events here. I've been looking around online, and I'm not even finding an article with your name on it. Can I get you anything? Uh, yes, coffee. Black, please. Take a look at this. You're dead. About a year ago, right in these woods, a girl went missing after slicing open her boyfriend's throat. They still haven't found her. I've got the perfect story for it. Yeah, it reminds me of my ex-wife. Listen, she sounds like a good old psycho bitch, so uh, what makes her story so special? Sorry. There you go. Let Thank me know you. if you need anything. Thanks. I'm talking about a guy who graduated college, got a safe little job. She was about to start her dream career. All they were missing was a cute little house, white picket fence, and a dog. Now, none of their family and friends believe this could happen. They don't think she could do this. So you did some research, at least. Of course. Now, the way this plays out, you'll have one twisted story. So... So, I don't know you from a fucking hole in the wall, and... Who's gonna care about some bitch who, what? accidentally killed her boyfriend? Henry, this was not an accident, and she was not crazy. There's more to it. There's something out there. All right, so? What's out there? Let me tell you the story. All right, but you're the one that got here late, and I got places to be, so uh, let's jump right to it, huh? A young couple is heading up north for a weekend getaway. Little do they know what awaits them. 